what the control center do, is doing is, uh, in the past, you would always have to go stop a machine to find out uh, how, how long you had until you needed to change the pads, um, how, how long you needed it to change the diamond. We can not stop a machine. We can always at a glance see what needs to happen, not just now, but what needs to happen about an hour or two from now. And we can plan uh, accordingly and, and make sure we get ahead of that. Um, otherwise, like I said, it gives you top error um, statistics. You can't be here at all times, so it's always good to go back and you can see what happened over the weekend when you weren't here, or the night shift when you weren't here. Um, and when you get into the meetings, your people aren't sitting there for 20 minutes arguing on what the actual problem is. The problem's up on the TV and we can all see it and we can all come to a solution as opposed to figuring out what the problem is. So the, the Modulo Control Center has helped us uh, tremendously. So you can imagine as a new lab, it's, it's very crazy and you have to be down there at all times helping out. Now um, everyone's kind of in the flow. They know where to go to find the data and what to do. So uh, most days, the majority of the time, the lights are green, everything's running, um, and, and the problems are fewer and far between. And when they are, we can find them quickly and address them. CMS has helped with uptime tremendously. So we can see that our efficiency is going down. We can see what the problems are in the command center. Uh, and then everyone can get to the computer quickly anywhere in the lab, uh, put in a work order. That work order uh, immediately goes to different people and the person that you know gets the alert can go work on it. Um, and they can also see the whole lab. So in the past, you always had uh, well, what's the priority when there's two or three things wrong? So that system can let you see the whole lab and the priorities can be uh, set right away from the manager from another room, right, before he's ever even seen the problem. The Snyder's MMS has uh, allowed us to maximize machine availability and minimize machine downtime. Um, with the Snyder's MMS, you also get the PMs that are due for each machine. I mean, they all are scheduled out a week in advance. It allows me to plan, that way I'll know what I'm doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's not any surprises. Um, and I didn't have to go in and schedule all of those things myself. It was already something that came uh, built into the CMMS system. The Snyder CMMS has made my job a whole lot easier. Um, I can bring in a guy that has mechanical experience but has never seen a piece of Snyder equipment and I can sit them out there and they can perform the PM tasks because the Snyder CMMS has the PDF files in it along with videos that will give them a step-by-step -step instruction on how to complete the task. The CMMS Modulo as the director of the lab allows me to see uh, my maintenance cost per machine through labor, uh, the parts, um, we can see, you know, from year to year is a machine costing us more in labor and parts, uh, you know, versus the previous year is one type costing more than the other and it helps me make decisions on how many people I need to hire and whether or not we need to increase preventative maintenance or fix a machine uh, because that cost keeps increasing. Also helps me with the training. Um, there's all the uh, manuals and some videos in there. so. After we get a, a technician up to some certain level, it gives them a little more autonomy. They don't have to keep going to find someone to, to ask them, what do I do next? Because it's, it's all in there in the tablets that they're 